Hey everyone, Jordan here from That ZR2 Sonoma. Want to give you guys a quick update. We got a rack. I picked it up from the fab shop last week. It's been cut down, modified to fit the truck a lot better than what it was. And we've also got some ditch lights now. I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough on what I did. I'll show you guys the ditch lights first and how I did that and what I did. So for me in the Sonoma, I don't have a lot of space for switches and all the other fun stuff like that. So I, I made a mess underneath the hood for now. You can see here I got battery terminals for accessories. I have the radio harness for this VHF and I have running through here. This is all the harness for the ditch lights. I do not have a switch in the truck. Instead, I got a harness that had a remote. I can still plug in. I have the receiver right here. I can still plug in right here to add a button. I have the button, it's in my glove box. I just don't want to stick it to the truck anywhere and mount it all funny. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right down the road. Figured this is just to get it going for now. It doesn't look the cleanest, absolutely. But hey guys, this is a budget build. I don't know what else to say about it. And as for the rack, it's been cut down. I'll post a picture in here. It was way up tall. I went to a local fab shop that we deal with at work and they did a great job. They cut it down so it's not super high. They redid the feet. The feet were super, super long on it before. They were, I think, nine inches for what this truck is, I don't need a nine inch base. I got my my two by four system already up there. I just had a boat on top. But yeah, nice little rack and it's doing the job. I'll post picture again with a boat. It comes, I went with this rack because I wanted the tubular aluminum. I want lightweight, but I like this one because, I don't know if you guys notice here, there's two screws there and two screws there. You can actually dismount this rack and it comes apart into three pieces. So for storage, you have your, your rear section, your center and your front. So it's easy storage. I mean, I paid $250 for the rack and the fab shop, they only charged me $200 to get it all done. Yeah, they had it a couple weeks, but I can't, I can't complain. The price that they charged was more than fair. Now, since you guys have last seen the Sonoma, I also turned up the torsion keys to level out, oh, sorry, I'm backwards there, <laughs> level out the front end. So I've now leveled out the truck with the lift Next is to get the alignment, and she's done that aspect of it. Uh, from there, it's a matter of, do I want to go with a bumper next? If so, do I design one myself? There's a couple kits that are available to me, uh, around $650, $700, My problem is, I have a design in mind. I want maximum clearance. And I also got to be able to clear a winch. not a lot of space on these trucks to clear a winch versus the S10s. And this is why there's not a lot of space. An S10, if you look at the grills and the headlights, they're flat. It's a one-piece grill that comes through here, and then it's basically flat. Whereas the Sonoma has a nose, the grill sticks out. So a lot of the kits and a lot of people end up just notching out. A grill but I don't want to do that 
And I also want to keep my ground clearance because it's only a Sonoma. It's just got a little bit of lift kit and the factory lift, but there's not a lot to it. So I want to try to keep it simple. I want to try to keep it usable. I want to make the best vehicle I can without putting tens of thousands of dollars into it. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that will understand where I'm coming from with that one. And for all these bit videos I make, I do try to come out and give you guys a different surroundings. Something different every time to look at. There is something here. I'm in the Chilliwack Valley, again. Just probably 30, 40 minutes from home, if that. And there's something here that I have a problem with. And I really want anyone that follows me that does the off-road thing to participate in this. Now, what my issue is, it's all these shotgun shells. Look at that. I'm just at a small little campsite right now, guys. There you just, you got some brass sitting there too. You got your boxes. You got beer cans, garbage, everything just thrown around. There's another campsite down that trail and it's just as bad. There's pallets here. Oh, that, you got more, more shotgun shells. More brass. But I mean, you got this like, incredible view. You got the vetter right there. And then you look down. If you don't burn it, I guess just throw it over the edge. Someone else could have used that next time they come up here. Bring it back. Leave it here. There's actually garbage cans. There's a full garbage can down there. You guys, we need to do better. As a community. As a community, we need to do better. We need to clean up after ourselves. Why do this if all you're going to do is make the situation worse down the road for everyone else? I mean, what I'm going to end up doing here, I'm going to spend 20 minutes. I'm going to pick up all the brass I can. All the shotgun shells. I'm going to bring it all home. Dispose of it properly. Why? Why Why leave it? I see it. I'm going to deal with it. Because then you have issues like what I've run into now. As I was making this video, I noticed an issue. I picked something up. Right there. I have now picked up a screw. I'm not saying it was from here. But what are the chances? You come to a place like this that's just littered. It's disgusting, guys. We need to do better. Let's do better. If anyone has any more questions or information on anything that you saw in this video, let me know and I'll try to cover it. I will do my best to find the wiring harness I bought. I do not remember where I got it. The lights... I got in a trade for a bigger light bar. I got a three, the two pods and a small bar. Brand new in the box. So I will post any information I got on those for you guys. I'll show you guys a little bit later when it gets dark out one day, how the lights work and everything. All right guys, don't mind the hat. Don't mind the shirt. I just got off of work, but I wanted to show you guys this quick little view, an update on the truck, what's going on with it, and just, just remember, clean up after yourself, have a good time, be respectful of your surroundings. If you haven't already, subscribe, and you'll be getting more videos, more updates. I'll be going off-roading a little more. Let's see what comes up for snow wheeling this year. Maybe we'll get out and do some of that as well. All right, we're on our way back down from where I guess shot your video. I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm at. I you figure it out. Good for you. I just did a little cleanup. Probably got uh, a 
liter worth of brass. If I were to fill up a, a bottle just by throwing them in. And definitely got a, a lot of shotgun shells picked up. And it's a shame because this is really a nice area. Minus coming up somewhere along here. I know I saw it. Oh yeah, here it is. You can hardly see it in the bush, guys. You can hardly see it. Got a flipped over truck. I'm assuming someone uh, thought that their parts, their truck was worth more than, than this one. So you steal a truck and you strip it down, shoot it up, and you leave it, leave it in the bush. It's a shame. This isn't the first truck I've found. This one's been here for a couple years now. It's been reported a couple times. I found one the other day, an S10, sitting in the bush as well. Reported that one. And it's a shame because it just ends up ruining the backcountry for everyone.
heavy vehicle. Get back down into Chile.